guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello and welcome my name is katie and this is my weekly card reading video it is up a day late but we've had lots of birthday plans and celebrations going on this weekend um we got back late last night so it was a bit of a it would have been a bit rushed to do the reading last night um but it's still going to be for the week Yes, beginning yesterday, so the 8th of May. So if you would like to see what is going to come out in this week's reading, then make sure you keep on watching. So I'm just shuffling the House and Home Oracle cards um, to start off with. If you've seen my readings before, oops, uh, um, if you've seen my readings before, I like to start off with this these cards just to start off to get the vibe of how the reading is going to go. So, um, as I've said before, it could resonate with yourself, it could resonate with anybody that you know. Um, but yeah, let's hope we can get a nice reading this week. So, what message do we have for the lovely subscribers? Okay, so if you saw just a couple of seconds ago, I dropped a card on the floor that flew out of the deck. So I've reshuffled, and the same card has come out of the deck. So it's uh, listen out for it, or you may miss something. So this could all mean quite a lot of things. It can mean like a physical message, uh, maybe you're waiting on a letter or a phone call for something. Or it could mean something like mentally or listening to your body kind of thing. Um, so in a sense of, for example, um, me with my weight loss journey, if I don't listen to my body, then my body's just going to get worse. I'm going to feel even crap, basically. So obviously the last few days I haven't really been eating as well as I normally would lots of fast food, lots of rubbish, lots of birthday cake. So I wasn't really listening to my body, I was just eating whatever I want. So if I kept going if I keep going on like that, I'm just gonna end up where I was before. Could be even worse because where I'm pre diabetic I need to lose weight and not have as much sugar. So this is kind of saying I really need to listen to myself now otherwise I'm gonna get into a bit of a bad situation. Um it could be the same for you. Um it could relate to lots of different things as it says just keep listening out you might even listen out for um something whilst you're walking around like on a walk or something it could if you just need to just generally just listen <laughs> listen to yourself listen to others uh, maybe someone's going to give you some advice soon and you should maybe listen to it or um you might miss something um so yeah quite a um good card for saying just listen <laughs> so that obviously was quite good because that came out twice whilst i was shuffling so we can thank you for that so the second part of this deck as you know is the house and home part which is the tarot part and the major arcana cards so as i said before if you don't know about tarot the major arcana cards are like the kind of the big cards of the deck so, and these are all different types of houses or parts of houses um, in this deck. As I've said before, I love it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, we shall see what message we have out there for you. Right, this one's sticking out, so I'll go with this one. So, we have the dwelling. The card come out so with these cards obviously though they're not traditional tarot um <clears throat> it comes with a little uh, guidebook so you can see what they mean and what they are as in um the traditional tarot cards so the dwelling is also known as the fall which is like the beginning card in the deck in the tarot deck so the word associations are innocence youth risk potential Freedom, releasing the past, faith in yourself, awareness of environment, naivety, 
gaining experience, opportunity, caution, responsibility, something new, excitement and a beginning. So this house belongs to a youthful soul who is eager, some may say too eager. Many spend a lot of time perched at the top of the mountain, some even more than intended. The house is only visible to those looking for it, although not all who can see it dare to go inside for fear of missing a step. So <clears throat> the Fool is obviously the beginner card in a tarot deck. It's always about um, like new beginnings, I would say. Um, so it can, I feel like it's related to like a younger person, a younger person that's looking to start something new or is looking to reset. It could relate to me actually, like where I need to listen to myself and my body and I need to like as it says release in the past so I need to release release what has happened in the past release obviously everything that um, I've been doing recently so I've not been eating as well not been doing as much exercise so I just need to release that it's a new beginning new start so I think it's someone who's looking to maybe just start again and there's potential so if you're looking to do something new there's going to be some potential in what you're wanting to do um and as it says youth and innocence maybe you you're a little bit like new in this area of what you're looking to do you um as it says naivety so you might not have the full information of what you need to know so um and gaining experience so with this new opportunity new start you're going to gain um, some experience from learning what you're wanting to do um, <clears throat> and it's going to be exciting so uh, and from what you're wanting to do or what you're thinking of doing you're going to get some freedom and it's saying that you need to have some faith in yourself so like me I need to have some faith in myself I can I can lose this weight that I need to lose it's just having that faith in myself to do it so yeah, quite a quite a nice card. It's just saying it, it's like the start of a cycle. So yeah, that's what I'm getting from the dwelling. So that was a lovely card. So thank you. So as this is just a normal reading, I'm just going to go to my other oracle cards. So the next deck I like to use is this Moonology deck. Um, so again, we'll see what lovely message we can get for yourselves. So what message do we have? Oh the lovely subscribers. Oh well wow. that's a few. We shall put them back in and see if any of them come back out again. Because sometimes while I'm still learning to shuffle, cards just fly out of my hands while I'm not hold when I'm trying to shuffle. So I'll just put them back in the deck and see if we can get if any of them come back out if they want to. <laughs> um, yeah, so what message have we got for you lovely subscribers out there? So we have luck is on your side and it's the new moon in Sagittarius, this card. As it says, luck is on your side. So maybe it's saying Obviously, if you with the whole listed out um, card and the full card, obviously, listening out for whatever you think you need to listen out for, whether it's physical or not, the full is obviously saying there's going to be a new start, a new beginning physically again or mentally. Um, and it's saying whatever you're thinking of doing or changing or starting, you're going to have some luck. On your side <laughs> so yeah if you're feeling positive and having the faith in yourself you've got the luck on your side definitely so yeah that's quite a very positive card again to go with the rest of them so then last but not least i finish off with my guiding stars oracle cards again normally lovely positive affirmations um so yeah let's see what we can get in this deck. 
info what message. My cards are alive today. Right, so let's put that back in because I just fell out of my hand. Message do you have for a lovely subscribers? Well, so this says May I raise my vibration and connect with the divine for guidance. So that's what it says. So in this card obviously if um, you don't know like vibrations and sounds are quite a big thing to help with getting your energies out there to help get back what you wanted to achieve so it's kind of like the manifestation side of it um so if you raise your vibrations it's making your energy stronger kind of thing <laughs> um so um, it's kind of saying maybe um put a bit more effort into what you're wanting to achieve so if you're raising the vibrations of what you want to do and connecting with the divine for guidance it's going to help you know what you need to do to achieve your goal kind of thing um so yeah it's all about making sure you're putting in the effort and manifesting what you want to achieve so it's kind of telling you yeah to just maybe put in that little bit more effort if you're wanting to start something new or keep going with what you're wanting to achieve so like me i need to raise my vibrations with just my general weight loss journey so making sure I'm eating healthier, not succumbing to the uh, temptations <laughs> of the bad food. So yeah, it's just kind of making sure I'm putting in the effort. And <clears throat> yeah, so again, goes with everything that I said, I think. So yeah, I think that's it. just pull pull one card from my latest newest tarot deck so just move those out of the way in there um i've just got an, i've got an urge to pull a card from this deck i don't know why um so here we go so if we have a message please share with us so i'm shuffled I'm just going to take the card off the top. So we have the Wild Hunt. I actually did a reading for myself the other day. When was it? I think it was Friday. And this card came up in my reading then for myself. So I'll just grab the little guidebook that comes with these because these are slightly different to tarot as well, the traditional tarot deck. So we're on number 16. So this card is called the Wild Hunt. Um, so just the, just, I think it's kind of like the Tower Tower card. Um, so it gives you a description of the card. So uh, the Wild the Wild Hunt, led by the god in his aspect of hunter, is turbulent is the turbulent ride that travels in the night sky as, a, as severe winds, thunderous rolling black clouds and streaks of jagged lightning. Their shocking passage, passage initiates abrupt changes as they gather what no longer is no longer viable along their route to un the underworld. Here is liberation coming as an unstoppable but quickly passing storm freeing the mind and invigorating the spirit as restrictions are blasted away. Bright light erupts the confining tower top and shines as a beacon from the window as an expression of sudden enlightenment, uh, leading to new beginnings and new possibilities. This powerful energy in the reading offers the opportunity to cast off burdensome encumbrances that restrict a full life or the achievement of a personal fulfilment. Mental and emotional stone towers that were constructed for protection from what has been feared block 
growth and potential, so the wild hunt opens the way for beneficial change and self-illumination. With the resulting awareness, hope is renewed for whatever cause the initial surprise will pass. Instead, this opening necessary for self-improvement and a new outlook. So that's a brief description of the card. So then you get, um, obviously, the meaning. So meaning is sudden change, illumination, truth revealed, shocking event, end of illusions, enlightenment, unexpected events, enemies revealed, disruption of forced change, deceit revealed, release from oppression, time to rebuild, negative situation ends. So it was the right way up as well. So what I've said is the positive meaning of the card. So the main prompt words for this card are sudden change and a shocking event. So yeah, I guess it goes with everything that we've talked about. It's kind of saying that it's just going to be a big change. Um, like as it as I said with the fall, it's like going back into like starting this new cycle. So maybe if you if you are planning on changing something, it's going to be quite a big change. So it might be a lot to process, like emotionally or physically, but you're going to come out the other side and it's going to be just like a new start for yourself. So this is kind of saying that there's going to be quite a big thing happening. Um, but it's going to be a good, even though it may not feel like it's a going to be good it's going to be good for the future if you get what I mean <laughs> hopefully I'm making some sense but again for people like me with my personal weight loss journey maybe it's kind of saying that well I've been not as looking after myself as much recently this is like a big it's a big change for my body so it's going to affect me in different ways therefore it's going to put a block in my path but if I focus, start, kind of just start again, um, release obviously that negative energy and then just start again, um, it's going to help me emotionally and mentally to get what I want to get, achieve. So yeah, I don't know why I just felt an urge to pull one for my tarot deck so I hope you don't mind. And yeah, so... I didn't look in my tarot deck about the fall, but I don't think it says too much about the um too too much difference. So obviously the fall was the dwelling. So the quote what is I embark on my journey with trust and a light heart for the world opens up before me. So yeah, fresh start, beginning, freedom courage, openness, trust and risk taking. So again it's just like the whole starting again, a new cycle, um, make, maybe getting some uh, freedom just from starting again. Um, so yeah, it just says the card suggests a choice must be made and a journey started into unknown territory. Courage is required to take the first step. The fool is unaware of and unprepared for what awaits him, but through new experiences, he will discover his true potential. So yeah, maybe you are feeling a bit like apprehensive of what you what you're wanting to do, but with the fact the fool has come up, it's kind of saying this is a chance to have a fresh start. So just go for it, and it'll just be like just a new beginning, new new cycle, new beginning, fresh start, and yeah. So um, I hope that makes sense to somebody. <laughs> uh, if it does, please leave a comment. I'd love to see if anything helps with um, with you, with any of my readings. And um, yeah, so that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. And um, yeah, so I will speak to you all in the next reading. Take care, stay safe and blessed be. Bye.